Well, these are the parts I'm going to use. Um, this is just some shrinking tube to seal it afterwards. This is just a small little switch. Um, you can basically use any type of switch that's just on and off. Um, I think I paid like maybe 20 cents for this switch. Um, a little bit of old scrap wire. Uh, you don't need it that long and you actually don't need it at all if you choose to do it another way. But I'm going to use it. Um, two uh, ta uh, wire taps. Um, these will go into the uh, wiring harness on the car. Um, on a cable you can just place it there and then lock it. Uh, and and that the metal will actually cut through the, the insulation and will give a fair contact surface. Um, when you're mounting this in, in the cable kit, cable in the car, um, when you close it you might want to really push hard so it, it actually does get a con get contact. Um, if you, uh, you're not able to get a uh, connection, just try to kind of squeeze it more together uh, or, or try to wiggle the cable just a little bit and it might work. Um, these are special connectors for uh, these wire tabs. Uh, they will be inserted like that. Uh, you need two of those and uh, some resistors. Um, I had 270. Uh, ohms resistors just lying around so I'm gonna use those you can use anything from I think 180 up to 390 ohms uh, make sure that it doesn't say a, um, a K in front of the or after after the number because that's a kilo so you, you want to use only um, from 180 ohm ohms up to 390 ohms you can choose 270 or, or 330 um, as it is, uh, as you will see on online, whereas a lot of people will recommend 330 ohms. We'll be starting off with uh, soldering um, the resistor onto the switch, and since these are quite fragile, um, what I'm gonna do is kind of try to make it a little bit stronger by kind of looping it. enough and as you can see here that's gonna be fairly fairly wiggle proof when as, as soon as we put this on here I think this shrink tube is is actually a little bit too big but yeah I don't care uh, you might want to actually use half the size but that's what I had and I was just putting these two on um, these are actually way too big for this one, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. Should do the trick. And on this one, I don't bother because the cable is thick enough. I don't have the right correct. <sighs> Should be using the proper um, thing to squeeze it in, but it will work. Uh, now I'll just uh, shrink this one and we're ready to go. It's as simple as that.
these two are going on in the car room. Like that. Now to get the console open. Well, I've pulled the center uh, panel off, and to remove the M50 connector, um, it's a bit fiddly to record it and actually doing it. So, uh, here we go. Um, I've got my little torch here. Uh, on top here, you will have a little tab, and you need to go beyond that. Um, on the back side to remove it, just try to I'm not sure whether it's possible to see it from this angle but you need to go be on the back there uh, not on the on top but inside there is a little tiny tap that you just push down and the whole harness will release that. As you can see here, uh, it might be easier to see it here. There's a tab below here. Yeah, anyway. I have removed a little bit of the insulation foam um, with a knife just to get a little bit better um, axis. Well, here's the M50 connector, uh, and as you, can, as you can see, I've connected my little wire tap on uh, the red pin 30 and another one on um, brown 37. Um, so, here's the M50 connector. I have connected those two little wire tabs here and here is my little wire harness and I'm ready to connect it okay now here's the whole thing connected right um, and I'm just plugging the M50 connector into the climate control uh, panel and try to test it. At the moment I'm gonna try to Turn it off so it's possible to actually see the screen. And we're turning the motor on. And uh, I'm gonna so, um, now it's actually heating up because it's on 21 degrees. Turning it down to 19 and see what happens. Oh, now it's really heating up because it's less than it's 17 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm going to just turn it up to 20, 21. Let's do 25 and see what happens. As you can
can say it's on one, just less than one, one and a half kilowatts. And I'm gonna flip the switch here to zero. And magically it goes down to zero in a moment. There is zero. Okay, so for all practical uses, um, this the switch. It's loose here. Here it is. Will just stay hidden under the console. During the summer, it will be like this, but during the winter, I'll just when fall comes, I'll just. Up my my hand under and find the, the switch and turn it on and after a while it will heat up it takes a little, a little bit of time but it will heat up so, uh, my default will be during the winter, during the summer, will be off. I'll be able to use my um, AC and not waste an energy on um, heating. Magic!